So we're going to show you how to program. We've got the Marvel 2125A PC60. And we're just going to kind of run through what it's like to program this sauce for automatic mode. All these controls up here, you're going to use for setting it up manually. Um, and so you're going to have it in the single cycle mode right here. And you can run everything on the saw manually, all the controls. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it, uh, set it up for an automatic cycle. So first we're going to start the pump, turn it on, make everything make sure everything is on. When you come over here to the control, we're just going to follow some of the command prompts. It says press start. So we'll press that button and this is what you first see when you first turn the machine on. Um, set tilt zero. So that will now what we're going to do is we got to come over to the blade. We have this control here. We're going to push the column forward. And what that's doing is we're going to move the column all the way forward so we can get a good measurement. <clears throat> Okay, and the only way you can get this this column forward is by having the 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 machine vice open. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this blade is squared up. Not quite forward enough yet. Okay, so now we're gonna check and see if we're squared up. We're pretty square. If it's not square, you're gonna come over here to the column tilt switch and you can move it in either direction by, by moving the switch one way or the other. We're not gonna move it because we're already squared up. So we're good there, we'll take this, set this aside. And then we'll push the column uh, retract button. That'll retract it all the way that we need to. The automatic cycle will not work unless the column is all the way retracted. Um, so we've gotta make sure that that's in place before we can even run it. Uh, another thing we need to do is we need to make sure the machine vices are closed. And because this shuttle has an out of stock switch, um, you've got to make sure you have material in the shuttle vise or this automatic cycle will just stop and it'll shut the machine off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch this over into automatic mode. Um, and we're going to switch the conveyor to this right position. This will make sure that the conveyor is operating the chip conveyor underneath is going to be operating while the saw blade is running and it's going to move the chips away. So now we come back over here to the control and so once we've set the tilt to zero by checking the squareness of the blade, now we can just say yes, we can answer the question. And now we can set this program up for a manual stroke. If you want to do a two inch cut, you hit enter and it may be a 45 degree angle, enter. And if you can set your quantity, maybe you want to do three, three cuts of the same. Hit enter, and now it, when you press start up here, you have to hit start here, and then you have to hit the start cycle here as well. And that'll initiate just the, the manual mode for this, and it'll do three cuts, two inches each at 45 degree angle. If you want to do more of a, a in-depth difference, uh, if you want to do more steps, um, with different angles and different lengths. You can also do that too with this controller. We hit the run program. and It'll ask us if we want to program a job. And so of course we push yes, but unfortunately we can't just press yes and actually do that. We have to press a number. So this is gonna be program number one, hit enter. And now we can set up different lengths with different angles and a number of different qualities. Uh, quantities with different steps and it'll show us how, what step we're on. We're on step one and we're on job one. So right now we can enter in 48. I've already entered that in. We'll hit enter with an angle of zero and we only want one of these uh, cuts. So we hit enter and it'll just keep cycling through. Now we go to the next step. See, we're on the next step now, and it's going to be a 24-inch length cut. The shuttle is going to move to 24 inches, and the column is going to move to 45-degree angles. So you enter those numbers in. So for, thir for step three, we have it at six. We can change it to maybe five. Hit enter. With the angle, we want it to be, maybe we want it negative 59 degrees. Hit enter. We can have as many quantities as we need. Move on to step four. 
Now we have a length of 12 inches, again, zero angle. We can change that. We hit the enter button, it'll switch to the next one. We can hit in 2.5 angle maybe. Enter. And now we get to the last one, it'll ask us if we wanna add a fifth step. And so we can answer the question yes or no. If we hit yes, it'll, it'll give us the same kind of uh, um, setup here where we can program a fifth step. Six inches, maybe 42 degrees, enter. And it'll ask us, it'll keep repeating the process and ask us if we want a sixth step. We're gonna say no. We're gonna get, we wanna end this program and be done. So we're gonna hit the, the next arrow over to where the end is flashing. We're gonna hit enter. And now it's gonna say job one, do we wanna repeat it? And how many times do we wanna repeat this job? Um, we don't wanna repeat it, so we're gonna hit no and then we're gonna hit enter. So now it's gonna ask us to program another job if we want to, we can program uh, job number two, job number 23, whatever the number is, um, but we actually don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go over to the auto mode by pushing program, and then we're gonna push auto. Now it's gonna say ask us to run a job. And so we can put whatever number we want, whatever job number we want into this field. If we have uh, job number one with all of the program settings we've already set up, we can press number one, enter, and ask us to press the start button. And when we do that, it's gonna initialize the job. The shuttle is gonna to try to zero so it can find a reference point. <clears throat> and if this screen doesn't switch over, what you need to do is you need to push the column retract button so it makes sure it's all the way back. Okay, so now the shuttle is all the way back at 48 inches. It's gonna clamp the material. Now it's going to try to advance the 48 inches and then it's going to do a cutoff. We can change the blade speeds manually right here at this, this dial. We set it at 225. The column will automatically sense how much material is inside the vices, cut only enough, and then it'll retract. It'll open up and move advance to the next step. So now it's 24 inches at a 45 degree angle. It took us about two and a half seconds for that last cut. Again, we're on step two. You may notice we have uh, these extra clamps overhead for bundling. We can turn the hold downs for the bundling off if we want to with this switch here, but I have it set on because we're just trying to show you everything it can do. So now step two is done. It took 0.18 seconds there. 1.8 seconds. Now it's advancing to step number three. And this shuttle has a feature um, that allows it to kind of um, creep to the right exact um, dimension that you're trying to cut. And so you might have some time before that actually gets all the way back or all the way forward, um, but it's usually pretty quick. So it's right now you see it's, it's creeping and there the, the bundling clamps down and gets out of the way. Shuttle moves to the next step in preparation for the next step. It's gonna cut. Now we're gonna to go to step four, which I think is a, a zero or close to zero cut. But you can see the shuttle is kind of creeping up to that six inch mark. Just so make sure we're right on where we need to be. So we're on step four now with a 2.5 degree angle with 12 inch length. While it's cutting, you can see the shuttle is creeping back to where it needs to get that next uh, cut. So 
So the shuttle is still creeping back to that five or six inch mark that we programmed earlier. So it clamps it and now it's gonna try to move it all the way over. Uh, we come over here really quick while we're doing this uh, last cut. We can change the feed rate of the column as it comes forward. Forward. We can also change the vice pressure. So how much clamping pressure we want on our material. If it's bundling, we might want a little bit less so you can adjust that down to um, whatever PSIR bar you need to. And uh, right now we have it down pretty low. Then you can also set your uh, feed force to whatever um, you need to for your application. And right now, it just finished the last cut. If you come back over here to the controller, it says the job one is finished. And so um, we hit enter yes, and then we can run another job. We can go back to manual mode. We can do a single cut, um, or we can just switch this thing over to manual cycle and pretty much position everything the way we want, want to. Um, when we're doing longer angles, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the blade guide set higher obviously so it's out of the way and then if you have a smaller piece you're going to want to um, set this thing lower and i believe you can do all this in auto mode so depending on what cut you have you can get this uh this blade guide out of the way really quick you're gonna have to keep that in mind if you're going to do an automatic cycle um, because if you have a piece that's only four inches high and you're doing a zero degree cut, you're gonna to wanna to have the blade guide quite a bit closer. But then when you start getting out there to the 60 degree, 45 degree, you're gonna to wanna to make sure this, this thing is uh, clear so it's not hitting the vices. Um, we have column tilt lift rollers. So this, this roller right here will lift every time um, the, the shuttle is pulling the material forward. Um, so right now, if I put it in manual mode, we open the vices, close the vices. We open this vice on the back side. You can see that ruler will lift up or down. It lifts up when you're trying to load your material. And then when you clamp your material, it'll shut, it'll lower down. So in single mode, when you use the shuttle to re, when you want to move the shuttle in manual mode, um, it'll creep for about three seconds before it'll actually do a rapid travel. So if we want to move it back, we have to have the vices open if we're going to go forward. Um, but you see how it takes three seconds or so before it'll even move any direction. If you come over here. We have the outboard vise over here. We can have it open manually all the time so we don't even have to use it. But if you have something that's really long that you wanna make sure that you have clamped um, really well, you can actually have this set to on. And this will close with this vise up here in the front. So when I open this, this vise, they both open and close together. the column back manually, you can move all the vices manually. Um, of course we have coolant, we can turn the coolant on if we need to. Um, I could have you come over here really quick. Um, yeah, we'll keep this machine on really quick. So if you need to change the blade, it's pretty simple open up this cover here there's a lever here for a hydraulic cylinder that will raise and lower this wheel and if we go down it'll lower the tension on this blade we can pull the blade out move this out of the way by opening up this other side and so that'll adjust the tension automatically when you shut the door so that when you're when you shut it it's ready to go